All right, in this example, again, we're dealing with this negative number out in front. First off, we need to give it an exponent of 1. Secondly, anytime you're dealing with a negative exponent, or sorry, a negative number with exponents, we need to put parentheses around it. So that way that negative doesn't get lost in all the calculations that we're doing. Uh, again, make sure you're putting parentheses around any negative numbers. So in this case, we have 1 times 3 because of the power rule. And then we have x to the second power times 3. And we get y to the fourth power times 3. 1 times 3 is 3, so I get negative 2 to the third power. Uh, 2 times 3 is 6. And 4 times 3 is 12. So we get x to the sixth power and y to the twelfth power. Negative 2 to the third power is negative 8. So your final answer will be negative 8, x to the 6th, y to the 12th.